We are taking the arts here, but we are without them. What's the problem? The slaves are coming to help us. They don't know about our revolt, and we are on our own. After all the work we have done, we being the South, it is all for nothing. The end is inevitable, so fight hard until then. No one gets taken alive! John Brown was later tried and executed by the state of Virginia. At his execution, he cried out, saying, I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged but with blood. I had, as I know, think vainly flatter me that without very much bloodshed it might be done. The North hailed Brown as a hero who sacrificed himself in the name of freedom. The South disagreed, saying that he was a murderer and a tool of the Northern Republicans. In the end, John Brown was right. The trial of slavery would not be settled until much northern and southern blood was spilled. Sir, Union forces are preparing for an attack on our right flank. Tell General Jackson to prepare for an attack. Sir, what are the chances of a Confederate victory? Slim to none, my lord. Slim to none. How many men do we have? About 41,000. But then Yanks got 71,000. Thanks, sir. I'll go report back to General Jackson immediately. You a Jebediah? Ah, nothing. I'm just tired of this horrible food, and I want some good old grits. You? I just reported to General Jackson. Coffee? Sure. Heart attack? Nah. I already had enough boiling castles for one day. Ah. Uh. Worm. Yeah, I agree. But it could be worse. We could be dead. Or even worse than that. We could be one of them Yanks. Let's straight to that, buddy. You know it's copy, right? Bottoms up. You wanted me, sir? Yes. South Hawk here take 8,700 of his men. I right, so attack Jackson's right flank. You don't have a plan, sir? I can do it all. Are you questioning me, soldier? Now, any questions? Why don't we attack earlier, sir? It'd be a foolhardy to attack to attack earlier. Rather, to bring our supplies and our to, to the front lines. Don't they have less troops than us, sir? That, soldier, is not true. The rebels have at least 100,000 men. And we need to be cautious to win this war. Now, get out of here. Don't you have something you need to be doing? Yes, sir. This is General George McClellan. He was made commander of the Union forces after the loss of the first battle of Bull Run by Irwin McDowell. McClellan had to prove himself early in the war in Western Virginia. He also devised an amphibious assault against the Confederate capital Richmond, which failed when he divided his army on the river. McClellan was known for his great relationship with his soldiers and his cockiness. That is how he earned his nickname, Young Napoleon. Wake up, wake up, the Yanks are attacking! Wake up! Wake oh, up, the Yanks are attacking! The Yanks are attacking our right flank, let's go!
Battle of Antietam continues elsewhere on both sides have suffered major casualties. 22,700 soldiers made Antietam their final resting place. But this is only the beginning of the Civil War. John Brown was there. Mm -hmm. The Battle of Antietam comes elsewhere. We search for the Mary on every ship, but we're all out here. 